This video today is uh, on C programming using integers. Uh, Professor Mayhew uh, covered some uh, integer programming uh, during class, but uh, I, DK, I'm going to recover it again. Maybe uh, it'll be a refresher for some of you uh, so that you can um, understand the concepts a little bit better. So let's uh, go ahead and do this. So. Yeah, first of all, you power up the uh, Raspberry Pi. You got the four Pis on top. You have a scroll, uh, scrolling screen uh, with what the Pi is loading at this time. Once that happens, um, Arch, Limit and Arch Linux will be booted up, which is great. And what you're going to get is a, uh, a login here. All right, what you're going to get is a login. Oops, let's go back. What you're going to get is a login, you're going to type me, M-E, and then the password is also going to be me, it doesn't show here. And then uh, once you do log in, it's going to come up and tell you, hey, you know, we got Arch Linux coming on, and it's going to have dollar sign prompt, okay? This is your bash um, window. So uh, you can uh, type in a couple of commands here if you want. Uh, for instance, I can type ls. To figure out what uh, files and directories I have uh, in uh, in the me uh, at alarmpy um, location, so you got uh, in the me directory. So I got desktop. I've got downloads. Uh, Nina actually was in here programming, so I have Nina's program. I have uh, something else here. Okay, another program. All right, and then it uh, come back with the dollar sign prompt. All right, so uh, after that, uh, if I'm satisfied, I'll just uh, start the XFCE window. So I have start, S-T-A-R-T, XFCE4. Okay, I'm going to start that XFCE4 window. And after a little bit, this takes a little bit of time sometimes, comes up with this window, right? Um, and uh, I've got uh, the file system up here, and I've got home over here. And then down below, you have some other things there too, including the terminal um, icon. There's the uh, Firefox, the Linux Firefox icon, uh, and uh, other things there. All right, so we're going to write a program. So uh, we're going to go to the terminal emulator, right? The terminal terminal is this guy right in here. You can also find that under uh, the scroll down menu on the upper left, right up here, okay, in the applications, you can go to uh, some apps, okay. But uh, uh, I'm just going to go to the terminal emulator this time. Next time I'll go to the uh, upper side. When you do that, uh, sorry that this uh, photo is crooked, but uh, you get a window inside your XFCE um, GUI with the dollar sign on it again. Okay, so basically inside that window you get the bash window. I'm going to do the ls again, it shows me the same files and brings me back the dollar sign prompt. So I've actually just taken a screenshot of, uh, of the terminal window so you can see it better. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to um, run gvim, okay, gvim, uh, which is your uh, edit program, and I'm going to call my program, or my file, that I'm going to be editing, num underscore intro dot c. You need to put the dot c in there to indicate that it is a C language program when you actually compile the program and, and eventually, uh, after compilation, you'll run it, but then uh, you, you're Geez, your uh, compiler needs to see that dot .c at the end. All right, so when you do that, okay, when I do the gvim uh, num underscore intro dot .c, boom, it comes in with this window, all right? Now, what I did was I put it in insert mode. It doesn't actually automatically come in insert mode. So what I usually do, okay, this is your uh, v gvim edit, edit, edit window. What I usually do is, before the insert comes on, I always press the escape key. Okay? Escape key allows me to go into command modes in GVIM. 
If I go into command mode, then you're going to start to see a, a few things down here. And I'll show you what, the, what that looks like here in a bit. So I'm going to hit the escape key. That gives me um, the command mode. What the command mode is, is it's not typing on the general window. It's going to tell GVM what to do. Save the file, quit from the file, insert the file, that kind of thing. All right, so I, I hit escape, and I'm going to go into insert mode for the GVM. So I'm going to do escape. I, all right? And when I do that, I get the uh, insert uh, uh, indication here. Now, I've actually written up the whole program here, but and you see my cursor sitting there on STDIO. So I start running the program. This is a standard program. Of course, you'll see uh, other uh, formats of the program here coming up, but this is the particular format for looking at 32-bit uh, uh, integer, you know, a display. I'm not even doing arithmetic here. So we have uh, pound include stdio. That's a uh, pre-written stdio.h is a pre-written program that includes some functions that we'll use, in particular functions like uh, printf, okay? That, that is displaying things on the screen. You know, see these uh, star asterisk and asterisk star uh, <laughs> slash asterisk, and then we have some um, text in the middle and then we have an asterisk slash so everything inside those uh, everything inside the stars okay everything inside the asterisks uh, is a comment and is not executed okay it's not executed I don't know what happened to my word not okay but it's not executed alright so now I do the int main open bracket close bracket and curly Q bracket open I declare X and Y as integer variables. Every variable that you use, you have to declare it, okay? Sometimes you declare it as uh, integers, like x and y here. Uh, in later lessons, we'll take a look and declare it as characters. Characters would be anything, okay? Anything on your keyboard, A, B, C, D. Uh, could be 1, 2, 3, 4 also, but it doesn't treat the 1, 2, 3, 4 as numerical values. It treats it as characters, okay? Um, it could also be floating point, okay? where you have uh, exponentials if you can, if you want to. All right, so I, what I did then is assign the value of 10 to the, uh, to the variable x, and for the variable y, I assigned the value of 11, okay, In, integer 11. So here you, here's how you assign them, okay? x equals 10, semicolon, important, okay? When it's a statement, you got to put the stem semicolon there. And then y equals 11, semicolon. And then I have some, um, I have a few uh, comments here uh, to display the X and Y values, you know, on the screen in integer format. I made a goof there called the decimal, but it's an, in integer format. Uh, we want to use a dollar sign, or rather, um, percent sign D. The backslash N business that you see, that you're going to see here in a couple of lines, is used as a line feed. That is, you want to skip the line in the display. So uh, here it is. This is a printf statement. Um, so the print, will this, the actual printed stuff, will display in the bash terminal, uh, bash window. The values of x and y are in integer notation. And uh, you have to make sure that that uh, backslash n is inside the quotation mark. So you can see that backslash n, which means a line feed. x equals, and then dollars, uh, um, percent sign d. That indicates that x has a value of d, all right, um, which is an integer, and y equals a percent sign d, and then I put two line spaces. But you know these x and y's in here inside the parentheses? They're not the actual values. They're not the actual 10 and, 10 and 11. This, is just, this just prints out the characters x equals, all right, and then this just uh, prints out the characters y equals. Once that's done, then you put a comma, and then here you, ac you actually stick the x's and y's. You actually say x comma y. These x's and y's get stuck into the dollar sign d locations, all right? In that order. And of course, we have the semicolon at the end and close curly bracket. All right. Once I'm satisfied with my program, I hit the escape key to allow me to get out of the insert mode and go back into the command mode for GVim. 
and I want to save this program. Okay, save this text. So I'm going to do a escape, and then I'm going to type colon W for write. That saves to the file. And if I don't put anything after colon W, then it saves it to the original file name, which is num underscore intro dot C. Now if I want to call it something else, like Bob dot C, then I will go uh, colon W space Bob dot C. Okay? So you can rename files that way. Now I want to quit, okay? Once it's written, it'll tell you that it's written. So I want to quit. So if I want to quit, I do a escape again. I always hit escape. I mean, there's no harm in doing that. And then you do a, you type in a uh, colon Q for quit. Now if you type in a colon Q exclamation point, that means get out of there. I don't care if you save the thing or not, just get out, all right? The exclamation point. All right, so I'm not, I'm, with that uh, colon Q, I'm out of GVim, and I'm back into my bash uh, window. So if I want to compile the program, I do a GCC uh, space num underscore intro dot C, which is my file that I, uh, that I wrote using GVim. And then it comes back with another prompt, at which time I want to execute it, okay? Since I didn't uh, tell it what name to use, and we'll talk about naming uh, the um, executable file, but since I didn't name it, um, um, we, after the dollar sign prompt, I, we type a period slash a dot out, okay? So the, so the so programs are automatically going to a dot out, executables. And there it is. It execute after I type a, a period slash a dot out and hit the uh, return key it gives me x equals 10 and y equals 11 great and then uh, puts in a couple of spaces and gives me the dollar sign prompt now just for fun we want to write if we want to write and uh, display numbers and decimal integers uh, in hexadecimal all right um, i do the same kind of thing pound include stdio.h uh, int main uh, declare x and y as integers because you have to declare all variables up front as integers or characters or whatever so so far we just have done integers here we go I'm entering x and y right in here in this circle here as um, um, hexadecimal numbers okay hexadecimal a and hexadecimal b so 0x indicates that it's a hexadecimal notice I have semicolons at the end there also and I have two printf statements. The first printf statement uh, displays things in integer decimal notation, you know, integer notation. And the second uh, printf statement uh, displays it as hexadecimal numbers. So you notice the difference uh, the, uh, with how the format of the number is, uh, is uh, denoted in the printf statements. In the first printf statement, the format is per, uh, percent %d for integer. Uh, decimal integer and then we have uh, in the second printf statement we have the format of percent capital X okay that displays X and Y as hexadecimal numbers with the hexadecimal numbers being capital letters all right so disregard all of this stuff all right because I was doing something else but then over here we have GCC num dot hex okay because I saved it as num dot hex I renamed it um, and then I made an error right in here and notice it doesn't work if you put a comma slash a dot out so comes in with a little thing that says hey man we don't know what that is so um, I realized my error and put uh, period slash a dot out and it executes and gives me a display in decimal x equals 10 y equals 11 and then the second printf statement gives me x equals a and y equals b it's pretty cool right so it's kind of interesting. You can enter numbers in, in uh, hexadecimal and get things out in uh, decimal notation. Well, I think that's it for today. All right. And uh, next time I'll add some additional videos on uh, renaming um, executional executable files and uh, perhaps doing some mathematical operations.